All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G bringing you guys the cross out of me. Sadly, no coffee because we're recording this one in the evening because I ain't got no time in the morning to get it done. So we're going to bang it out today. Big thank you to Kenny and the Discord for putting together this list and all the other moderators for helping work on it. We are finally to the end game cross out. 12,000 to infinity power score builds. What's the meta? What's the end game meta? We're talking mostly PvP here, not clan wars, just PvP. Some of these are clan wars builds. Some of them are a bit dated, but there's quite a few of them. There's actually quite a few more options for meta builds at this power score because simply you have unlimited money and parts at this power score. So let's waste no more time. We're going to hit it fast, hard, and get to it. First out the door, Annihilator Hover Builds. You can see this one sporting three radar detector call cabin hover spaced armor next on our list we got reaper spider these can come in either ml 200 spooter form or the bigram version once again nova cabin making a nice reappearance which shows up a lot of this power score and as always with reapers you got to box them in otherwise they get chewed off because it takes them forever to do the damage output so this solid example right here after that we've got of course Retcher hovers. Retcher is just continuing to be really good. Obviously paired with a harpy for that extra explosion radius. Solid build. This one a little more on the artsy side as it's not sporting as much spaced armor as some of its other counterparts. Uh, next up we got cricket hover. You got to find these things mounted in this formation, usually in a horseshoe shape, so that they're as far into the build as possible, giving them maximum armor and protection. Once again, Harpy, Apollo, and Hot Red bringing this thing together with a cloak, making it a versatile build. You can see they're sporting extra radar as well. Really solid design. A little bit hard to fly, a little bit on the wonky side, but the DPS of crickets remains scary good. Next up, we've got a classic Scorpion Hover. Um, you can also see these with Omnibox because that engine bonus and that reload option really adds some good versatility to it. Um, once again, you can see some counterweighted bits with the modules behind the cab. And as always, at this power score, all your hover builds are going to be sideways builds. Charge them. Just let us rotate our cabs. Just let us do it. Next up, we got Firebug Dog, aka Clanmore Meta. So we got Spark dog hybrid lancer and when this thing should have had a fire bug on it um yeah you'll see this with fire bug as well not just spark so you can have regular dog or you can have fire bug dog or you can get a hybrid lancer dog there it is i knew it was in here somewhere there's the fire bug underneath so quite the interesting hybrid there slow them down lance them grind them flame them one thing for everything you need. Yeah, good old Clanmore pocket knife right there. One of each. Once again, Shotgun Wedge continues to make an appearance. But this time we're going to have Hammer Falls. Or you could see these with Breakers. Especially at this power score, you're going to see a lot more Relic weapons showing up. Next up on our list, we got an Arbiter KTM build. You're going to have 360 degrees of fire here. Able to circle your target. Hold down left click. After that, we break into one of the oldest metas around, the old Foon Spooter build. Now, this thing can come on Spooter legs, the ML200s, or they can come to you on the big rooms. Uh, you can see the Step Spider Cab making an appearance there. On the same track, we got Mammoth Spooter. This one can also come in the big room variant, but you're going to see a big old tanky, chunky spider with lots of front-facing armor. After that, we've got mastodon spooter so just slightly higher power score because we're sporting mastodons instead of mammoths this one a little bit on the arty side but a very cool looking high power score build after that you wouldn't think it would but mastodon on hover ridiculous builds especially that this one is only sporting three pick the one running the omni box just because that extra engine power is going to really let this thing scoot around and just a solid nice looking build uh, next up, we got the Helios Hover meta. There's this one. It's going to show up with the Nova, three Helios, a little bit of spaced armor, cloak, obviously, uh, Cheetah engine in there, and Apollo. What else do we got on our list? We got an Aspect or Punisher Hover build. We went ahead and grabbed the Punisher one simply because we could, but Aspects work as well 
going to have the Colossus for the extra engine power and maneuverability because we don't really need a bonus on reloading. Um, this would probably run better on an Omnibox than a Growl, but this was the particular build that we pulled off Exhibition. Anything in this sort of format is going to work. Uh, next up, you're going to get the Annihilator car. It's going to look kind of like a doggo so that you get the ramming ability, do a little bit of damage. It's got a verifier on there as well. Uh, cloak and three Annihilators buried deep inside. Next up, one of my personal favorites, Porcupine Hover. Gotta love the name on this one. It's I Can See You. Yes, lots and lots of Ravager eyeballs. Definitely you can see us. Uh, and they've got the Blight Cabin there, so you can do Green Porco Fire of Death. Um, and what else do we got? We got Arbiter Hover, so more machine gunny hover builds. This one a little bit more boxy than some of the other counterparts that we've seen in our hover builds. A little on the heavier side, you got two on top, two on the bottom, protected by train plows, which is a really nice configuration to keep those going. And last but not least, uh, this really interesting thing. No, this is not meta. This is just a build I want to try out later because it looks awesome guys i'm cutting this one a little bit short because i need to go dad mode but thank you guys for watching the videos subscribe for all your cross out goodies and word on the street is we're getting the next update february 11th a little mod told me so and if he's wrong he's in big big trouble so hopefully you guys can get your crafting stuff ready be ready to grind on the 11th give yourself some free time then i'm going to catch you later be good stay safe mr g out